guitar travellers, it's Raymond J Parker here with another Lick of the Week. We've got an absolute belting lick for you today, which we hope you enjoy very much. And before we get into showing the lick, I'd like to encourage you to head on over to my website, which is www.rowanjparker.com and there's a whole ton of guitar stuff on that site, most of which is free. There's the backing tracks you can download and jam over, there's a whole ton of lessons. There is also a store where you can buy things if you like and help me pay the bills. I have um, uh, books and videos and lots of uh, HD high quality lessons all available for instant download. You can also subscribe to my website, mainly by putting in your email address into the subscribe box and hitting the subscribe button. If you do that, you will get access to an exclusive members only area of the website where I'm going to put on even more stuff for you. But you can only get it if you subscribe. So do yourself a favour, get free stuff and subscribe. So let's get straight into today's lick of the week. Um, fairly awesome sounding legato thingy. Hope you enjoy. Let's rock. Okay, well we hope you enjoyed that lick very much and before we go any further I must give credit where credit is due this is a lick that I learnt from the most incredible and insane electric guitar player I think I've ever seen or heard called Mr Roy Marchbank and you can find him on YouTube and I absolutely recommend you check him out because not only is he a fantastic musician his technique is beyond anything I've ever heard so I'm aware of the fact that probably a lot of you think that I'm pretty fast well this guy is just ridiculous <laughs> to give you some idea, that last division that I played on that lick, um, that was 64th notes or hemi demi semi quavers played at 100 beats a minute, which is uh, no doubt very quick indeed. I think it racks up something like 25 or 26 notes per second. Well, Roy can play this at, wait for it, 32 notes per second with better articulation than I can. The guy is just an absolute monster. Go and check him out. So, courtesy of Roy, we're going to show you this little exercise. Alright, so let's get straight to it. Alright, so fundamentally it's a straightforward octave idea. So let me go ahead and show you the first octave. Okay, which is low E, 8, 10, 11 and 12 and the same on the A string. 8, 10, 11 and 12 and the digitation fairly obviously. All four digits. One, two, three, four. And uh, standard legato technique, pick the first note, hammer on the other, in this case three notes. Alright, and then what we're going to do is move this idea up one octave. So we've got D 10, 12, 13 and 14 and then G 10, 12, 13 and 14. And then the final octave, up another octave, obviously. So we've got 13, 15, 16 and 17 on the B and the same in the high E. 13, 15, 16, 17. And all that really happens in the line is we're going to repeat the middle octave. So. And then we just repeat those six notes. Before we finish the line. Okay, and I should say about the, the harmonic context, it seems to work quite well over an F7 chord. We get some passing tones, of course, but you know, harmonically it seems to outline F7 quite well to me. Kind of here resolving on F, really. I suppose it could also be construed as some sort of C scale with passing tones or a C mixolydian scale with passing tones. The, the possibilities are quite numerous, but for me, harmonically, seem to work well on the F7, so that's what's on the background in the keyboard. All right, so <clears throat> it's a super straightforward lick, really. 
the challenge is just getting up to this insane tempo that Roy manages. So um, what I did on the demonstration is I demonstrated it at 16th notes, semi-quavers, and then uh, demi-semi-quavers, and then a group of 12 notes, which I think is called do de couplets, and then finally we went for the, the massively difficult 64th notes, the hemi, demi, semi-quavers. Yes, that's right, a monster division that is. And that clocks up our uh, 25 or 26 notes a second. So I'm going to play it one more time without the uh, drums and uh, just let you hear it. And then, you know, we'll listen to it one more time. Okay, let's do it. You see the distortion is definitely helping compress everything and make it sound a little bit cleaner than it otherwise would. But once again, if you check out Roy and how he plays it, it's ludicrous. Oh, and by the way, just to make you feel even worse, not only is his legato just stupendous, he then proceeds to alternate pick this line at not not very much slower, something insane like 30, 30 notes per second. And if you're thinking oh, that's impossible, the video's been sped up, no human being can do that, well, how wrong you are, just go and watch him. It just defies belief what you can do in the instrument. It's the most insane thing I've ever seen. So anyway, Roy, we love you. <laughs> so that's it, let's listen to the lick one more time, my pale imitation. Um, here we go. concludes another lick of the week we hope you enjoyed it very much and uh, tune in next time for yet another lick of whatever week that will be um, apart from uh, getting me on the website and watch me on YouTube of course and don't forget to subscribe to the website you can contact me in other ways I'm on Twitter you can follow me on Twitter at uh, Rowan J Parker I'm also on SoundCloud and you can download pretty much all the backing tracks um, from SoundCloud uh, and that's uh, Rowan Dash Parker for SoundCloud and on Facebook have a Facebook page Rowan J Parker which you like if you like alright well it's been a blast showing you this and uh, thanks so much to Roy he's been an utter inspiration and really you know kicked my ass to practice um, so I hope he also kicks yours so check you out next time thank you very much and farewell